Welcome scientists, it's GSAP from Butterfly Garden. My magic door is open. Today we're going to read a story called What If There Were No Sea Otters? A book about the ocean ecosystem. Sea otters know how to have fun. Found in the northern Pacific Ocean, which is the ocean near us in California, these furry mammals love to tumble and twirl in the water. Sea otters live in kelp forests near the shore, along with colorful fish, crabs, clams, and sea urchins. All living things in the ocean ecosystem depend on each other for food. Plants and animals are connected to one another in a food chain. There are lots of different food chains in the ocean ecosystem. The sea otter belongs to more than one. When many food chains connect, they make a food web. Sea otters are big eaters. One adult otter can munch as much as 25 pounds of food a day. Sea otters enjoy all sorts of tasty treats, including fish, snails, and mussels. But a sea otter's favorite meal is sea urchins. Sea urchins are round, spiny animals. They generally live near the shore, where the water is shallow. Tiny tube feet help them hold on to rocks. Sharks and killer whales hunt sea otters, but people are the biggest danger. Sea otters get tangled in fishing nets. They're hit by speeding boats. Litter and oil spills turn the animals' watery homes into garbage dumps. A ship called the Exxon Valdez spilled 11 tons of oil off the coast of Alaska in 1989. The spill killed thousands of sea otters. What would happen if sea otters became extinct? Without hungry otters to dine on them, sea urchin populations would start to grow out of control. Sometimes a plant or animal species is so important that without it, many other species could become extinct. It's called a keystone species. Sea otters are a keystone species. Keystone species help make sure an ecosystem has many types of life in it. Tasty kelp leaves and algae make the perfect meal for sea urchins, but the sea urchins would eat faster than plants could grow. Soon, sea urchins would gobble up nearly all plant life near the shore. Kelp is a sea plant that uses sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to make its own food. All plants do this. The food-making process is called photosynthesis. Sea urchins aren't the only ocean animals that eat plants. Fish, crabs, and snails do too. But before long, they would be in danger. They wouldn't be able to find enough food. And plants aren't just food. Kelp forests make great hideouts. Small animals hide in the kelp to escape big animals that may eat them. Some fish lay eggs in the kelp and raise their young there. Others use groups of plants as markers to find their way. Without plants, many fish and other sea animals wouldn't survive. Octopuses and sharks don't eat plants, but they eat fish and crabs. And fish and crabs rely on plants for survival. If plants disappear, so do large sea animals. Sea stars also eat sea urchins, but they don't eat nearly as many as sea otters do. Sea stars cannot keep the urchin population under control by themselves. What was once a place filled with many kinds of life now looks very different. No sea otters gliding through leafy kelp forests, no cluster of clams on the ocean floor, no crabs clicking their claws, no graceful colorful fish, just lots of sea stars and hungry sea urchins. Ocean ecosystems where sea otters have disappeared are called urchin barrens. Barrens are overcrowded with sea urchins and sea stars and have little plant life. So what would happen if sea otters became extinct? A lot. One small change, such as a loss of sea otters, can make a big difference in the lives of countless plants and animals. 
That's why it's so important to take care of our ocean ecosystem. Thanks to caring people around the world, more than 90,000 sea otters now splash in the Northern Pacific, and more sea otters mean stronger food chains in our ocean. Hunting sea otters is against the law in most places. Special laws also help reduce population in our oceans. Wildlife teams are reintroducing sea otters to areas where they once lived. These otter families are doing well and having new pups. The following animal populations are in danger of becoming extinct if nothing is done to protect them. The hawksbill turtle, the sawback angel shark, the flapper skate, the Chinese bahaba fish, Harrison's deep sea dogfish, and the southern bluefin tuna. Let's get started with our art project. Let me show you the materials you're going to need. All right, so you're gonna need a brown paper lunch bag, scissors, white Elmer's glue. I have some raffia type material here, but you can use newspapers or even like old rags, anything to stuff your sea otter. And then you're gonna need the sea otter cutouts that I sent you um, in your homework packet. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this little guy and you can choose any of the sea stars on the paper. This is the one I chose. I'm going to glue it right here so he's holding that. And then you can start with the head of the sea otter. You're going to make a cuddly little sea otter. You only have to glue the top portion, that, uh, the bottom half. You can leave the top half a little bit off of the bag. And remember, just hold it for 10 seconds. And then you're going to put the little arms, you're gonna glue them here. I just love little sea otters. They're so cute and cuddly. All right. And you could put the little baby right here. Mama's holding on to the baby sea otter. And then you're gonna stuff. You can wait again a little while, let, let that dry. And then you're going to stuff your sea otters with any kind of stuffing that you have at home. And then you don't want to stuff it all the way to the bottom. You want to leave a little bit of room for the sea otter's legs. And what you'll do is you'll just make a slit here. Go ahead and use the rubber band to rubber band the, um, the feet. Like so, and then you can pop this back out. And then, these are gonna be the mama otter's feet. And you're just going to put glue on the top part. Stick it onto there. Remember to hold for 10 seconds so that it really stays nice and glued. Same with this side. And if you want, um, you can put the baby on last or you can put it on first like I did. I didn't wait the full 10 seconds clearly because um, I'm trying to show this to you guys on the video pretty quickly, but if you wait, then it'll really stay glued down better. And there you have your little cuddly sea otter. Thanks for joining us today. Please remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing.